So let me chime in on, and, and uh, Mike, thanks for, you know, basically allowing this to be an open discussion. So um, I'll give you a personal anecdote for myself. I've been out of work since October of 2019. And obviously, you know, we're almost two, it's almost two years later, and I still have not found a, a full-time position. But in the meantime, I've been assisting 40 plus with their comms. I helped out my wife's um, real estate, uh, excuse me, my, my wife's um, Realtors Association here in Prince George's County when she was the president. I offered uh, some uh, pro bono communication services during her, her term as president. I'm also doing some you know, uh, communications work for some other organizations where I may be getting paid a small fee. And frankly, I'm working in an Amazon warehouse part-time and I'm on the learning team. So I coach employees. So after being frustrated for nearly 18 months, uh, I spoke to a recruiter and she said, fill the gaps with whatever you're doing. Some of the things I just mentioned to you, I have done that. And interestingly enough, on Friday, I got a cold call from someone who's looking for some community relations work and hopefully it'll bear some fruit because it would be a project assignment for me. But um, the real thing is, is that if you're filling your time in some way, you, uh, whether it's volunteering or using the skills that you already have to keep them fresh or what, whatever the case may be, or if you wanna make a transition to something new and you're offering those, um, you're offering yourself to work in, in, in that capacity in that uh, place you wanna transition to, that's a great way to fill the gap because that's valuable um, skills that you're either honing, keeping fresh or developing that uh, could be used. Because I think uh, employers are reluctant to hire you if they think you're just sitting around twiddling your thumbs, you know, and I, they understand your first priority is probably to look for a job, but there are ways to take advantage of that other time. And the reason I put the Amazon piece down there, although it has absolutely nothing to do with communications, is that I want to be uh, in a leadership role and I'm coaching employees uh, on the tasks that Amazon wants people to do. And that's something that they're looking for. And I think it's, it's tangible and relevant. And so you sometimes have to be creative in how you think about it. But the bottom line is it's a situation where I'm doing something, helping uh, the organization achieve you know, their goals for their associates. So that's why I, I put it on there. So um, I'll be honest with you, I was very reluctant to put some of these things on there early on, but um, I'm trying to get back in the workforce full time. So I think, you know, you got to, for me, it was a, a bit of a pride thing to be perfectly honest with you. And it may be that for others, but ultimately you have to do what you have to do to provide for your family, provide for yourself and get, and get back in the, um, the workforce. So that's my personal anecdote on that. 